What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Gym of All Trades channel. Have I got a video for you today. Guys, you're not going to want to miss any of this. I've got so much to share and such a little time to share. And I want to get it to you as fast as I can. But uh, guys, you just won't want to miss it. In this video, what I want to do is uh, kind of answer scoffers. Uh, that th The scoffers came out yesterday in yesterday's video. Uh, and, uh, you know, I called for uh, I, yesterday's video, or not yesterday, the 21st, and I called for downside to the markets. And uh, I said the downside is going to continue. And I still believe that. And uh, I, I got people coming back, kind of sticking their tongue out at me today, as if the price action of of the current move is is somehow uh, against what I said the other day. So what I want to do is just take uh, take a second to uh, actually play what I actually said, just to take about 60 seconds or more, uh, just a little bit, what I actually said in context, instead of people just reading the titles and not watching the videos. Secondly, what I want to do, I want to show you some pretty powerful um, Ellie wave theory in action uh, from previous waves of Bitcoin. So you can kind of get a context here. Guys, you're not going to want to miss this. Stay tuned. Uh, stick to all the way to the end. Let me know if you if you did, by the way. By the, if you made it through the end of the end of the uh, end of the video, let me know in the comments. Let me know how you liked it or what spurred uh, your thoughts um, as, as I present the, the different information I want to bring to you. So with that said, don't forget, none of this is financial advice. Just sharing my take on the market and um, answering some scoffers today. And, uh, and then at the very end, what I want to do is uh, go to the small time frame and, and tell you what I'm expecting uh, from the current wave action from an Elliott Wave perspective. Okay, with that said, let's jump into the market. Let's uh, First off, let's look at the, the, the previous video from the other day. That's from the 21st, and the, and the title of it is Bitcoin Ethereum Alert Dump Will Continue with High Probability, and Here's Why. Okay, and, that, and basically it was, a macro, it, was a, it was a macro video, but let me show you. Let me show you what I said within context here um, of, of what I'm expecting as far as wave action is concerned. Okay, let's let me just play a little clip of it. Here we, here we go. And looking for an Ethereum there. So it's finally playing out. Uh, this is looking very good for a basically like this, something like this. So I'll give you a, a quick move here. A one, two, looking for three, four, five, something like that, guys. That's the way we're looking at it coming down. Now, it doesn't mean we won't get bounces along the way. Uh, we will get bounces. You'll get little rebound waves. So this will come down, come on up. Come. All right, let's just, let's just look at what I just drew there right there. I drew it down to the one-to-one -one extension with a bounce off of it. Pretty deep, a pretty deep bounce there. But you'll notice that uh, I was I was making the case for the macro move of the, but with the understanding, guys, of I understand how waves move. And waves move with bullish waves and then and then with bearish waves. And you'll notice that I drew uh, the move down to the one-to-one -one extension first to finish to the one-to-one -one extension with a rebound wave up. And when I drew it, I drew about 50 to 60% back up, which is uh, what we're looking to probably make. I didn't draw the exact shape of that rebound wave, just the general idea of the way the wave's going to play out on the macro. But uh, let, let, me, let me just let you continue just for a second. I'll back it up five seconds here. Along the way, uh, we will get bounces. You'll get little rebound waves. So this will come down, come on up, come down, come on up like that. Uh, you know, it'll bounce along the way. But uh, nevertheless, I'm looking for ultimate trajectory somewhere around at least at least 1400. Okay, uh, that that it's a good support area. Um, but uh, we could go as low as um, low as uh, $700, $600, 683 in that ballpark. So let's watch that. <clears throat> I'll be able to project that as this wave comes down, I'll be able to project that end a little, with a little bit more accuracy and validity. Now, I don't want to just leave you with a bear count here for Ethereum. So let's look at the bull count as well. So let me uh, toggle on the bull count, turn on the bear count. Now, if for some reason I'm wrong about this being five waves and that this is a, just a three wave completion with a truncated C or something like that, Okay, let me get that off the table right there. Um, then that would this would basically be, you know, A B C right there. Okay, truncated C wave, something like that. And now instead of getting an A B C to the upside, okay, instead of that being an A B C, we actually have a one wave that's complete, and we're getting the two wave possibly. Okay, and then we'd be looking for three, four, five. We'd be looking for 10k guys, uh, at least seven, seven to eight k at least. All right, there you go. So I didn't just leave you with the bear count. Uh, that's my bias. That's what I'm looking at and thinking about. Overall, general, that's my bias because of the world markets and whatnot. I think the bear count over the bull count. However, I just didn't leave you with that. I offered the option that we we could have an ABC down. This could be the beginning of a, of a bullish move to the upside. I also said later on in the video or, or earlier, I can't remember exactly where, but I'd be looking for bullish 
bullishness in the market, and I'll have to shift bullish if I need to and shift my sentiment. But the point is, it's just unfair uh, for anybody to to watch part of the video or some of the video or just read the title and then just come in and troll my troll my comments to say, hey, uh, your TA sucks, Elliott Wave is silly, blah 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 blah, you know, and then say you are so wrong. You know, it's just ridiculous. You're showing your ignorance, and uh, just want to just you know just kind of show you that uh, you really need to watch the videos and listen to what I'm saying in in context within uh, full context so I am I am bearish I'm very bearish and what I want to do now is show you the case make a case for or at least show you why I'm so bearish and I'm holding on to a bearish perspective for now so what we want to do now is look at the ultimate the Bitcoin chart and say, okay, which way is it going, up or down? Well, I believe to the downside, and I'm going to show you why. Uh, first off, I want you to, what we want to do is a little fractal analysis. Uh, why is fractal analysis important? Well, because the waves move in repetitive uh, fashions over and over and over. That's what that's the basis of Elliott Wave, that uh, the market moves in wave structures that are repetitive. They happen on a repeating basis. And so we can go back in the chart and look how other, other tops have been handled by the market and the market or, the, or how the market created other tops and what the what the RSI looked like and what the waves looked like in general and get a sense for what could possibly be coming uh, based upon what we see in here. So I'm going to show you from a fractal analysis, which is an Elliott Wave study, really, uh, in a comparison to what we're seeing now, of, uh, of of previous dumps. So I want to take you back to two different ones, but we're going to start with a pretty pronounced one. We're going to start with the COVID dump right here. I'm going to take you to a different chart, but what I'm going to be showing you right now is I'm just going to be showing you the top of this wave right here, where we were going up, 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 right here after a larger correction. We're going up, 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 up. And then we found a top, and it was right before that big drop uh, to the downside. I want to show you what that looks like, and I want to show you and compare it to the current wave structure that we're seeing now in the market. And just to give you an idea of the repetitious nature of Elliott moves. Okay, so let's go to the let's go to that uh, Bitcoin fractal. There it is. Let's right there. Uh, what you have on the left side is our current move. Uh, it is the um, it is the uh, eight-hour chart showing uh, the current move of of Bitcoin on the macro time frame. Okay, but we're going to look at the uh, one-hour chart uh, because it was a smaller structure, uh, but nevertheless the same structure. If you'll if you'll note carefully uh, the similarities to what we're seeing here. Let me get make that a little bit bigger there. Just kind of compare it. So you just so you can see there. There we go. So what we want to, what's on the right here is the very top of uh, of of the COVID dump. Okay, it's the very top, and I was calling for I was calling for bearish uh, moves uh, during that time as well. Uh, I was I was very much a bear during all of this, saying a big dump is coming, and certainly it played out. Okay, but what we have what we have going on uh, going on here is we had a large move to the upside. This is the end. Uh, you know, you can see this big bullish wave here. Okay, and you'll notice you'll notice that there was an initial pump to the downside, much like you see right here or right here on the chart. And then what what you had is a is a rebound. It's probably more like this one right here. Uh, and then what you had is a rebound wave that just goes up. And and ends with some kind of a diagonal up there, and and you see this kind of diagonal shape right there, just like we got on the macro right here. Okay, so very very similar fractals there as far as the way uh, Bitcoin likes to top out. Now as it tops out, what you'll notice is that it will break structure. Okay, in other words, you'll be able to draw that di diagonal line and it'll break that structure okay and you'll notice that same thing has happened here it broke the structure and then what it'll like to do after it breaks it it'll break it in five waves generally speaking and uh, this is a five wave shape uh, without going too deep into it that's a five wave shape the one two is hidden up in here this is a three four five like that okay this is a five wave shape right there as well okay it's an impulse off the top and that's the way that's the way Bitcoin likes to move and then what you'll notice is that there will be, generally speaking, an initial pullback of that time. And that's exactly what we got on our first dump. Okay, We got an initial pullback. It came back about 60%. If we did a retrace, I could, I could do the pull there. And we came back to the golden zone and then continued down to the downside. Okay, Now what you'll notice here is we... Uh, on this, on the the COVID dump, we came back to the golden zone, just a little higher than the cold uh, golden zone, almost to the 786, and then continued the dump down on the COVID dump. 
Okay. Now, you know, what you'll notice is that it continued down and created five waves. Okay. Um, you, you can count the waves here: one, two, uh, three, four, five. Might be a count there. This is this is all part of the third wave here: one, two, three, four, five. If you wanted to count uh, the five waves of three: one, two, three, four, five, which you should be able to, uh, and that's exactly what you got here off the top. Here we created five waves to the downside: one, two. Uh, right here is the bottom of three, there's four, and then there's five right there. Then we got a, what we got after that was a very, very nice, what we call a flat in Elliott Wave, and it came back to, you see I already have the retrace tool on there, and the COVID dump, it came back above the golden zone, again, almost to the 786, and you'll notice that we got a nice flat correction as well, almost to the, uh, came to the golden zone, didn't quite get as high as the 786, but what you'll notice is that we have a very, very similar fractal here uh, from the top of the uh, COVID dump uh, as to the top of, of of the current of the current wave structure now now I'm not just looking at shapes and say hey yeah what happened then is gonna happen now but what I want to show you is that this is actually this is this these are Elliott wave principles in action that you when you get a five wave move like this okay it's followed by an ABC or a three wave pullback that generally comes 50 to 60 percent back uh, retraces that wave then it gives you continuation okay and that's exactly what you're getting here you, you got a five uh, that's exactly what you got here off of the COVID top here you got you got a five wave move here all right and then it gave you a very extended and very bullish looking but nevertheless it was a corrective wave of uh, a three wave uh, pullback that came about 50 to 60 percent this actually came almost 70 percent okay uh, back but then what you have after that is you have what followed uh, is an impulse back down okay and you'll notice off the top here I would get a little bit bigger so you can see it off the top we got an initial come on we got an initial dump with a pullback okay now and this just happened to go straight down really fast it was a really really big move well this one actually is what it's doing we got it came straight down gave us a pullback same kind of move uh, off the top there but it's it's now giving us uh, another another it, it came to the one-to-one -one extension okay and and the thing is, waves move differently. The overall principles are the same. That this could be, and probably is, on the small time frame, a one, two, one, two, which means we're going to have a very, very bearish wave coming if that one, two, one, two is isn't invalidated. Which that'll get invalidated right, right here at the top of uh, forty nine. Yeah, forty nine k, forty eight, seven eighty three, seven thirty eight. Excuse me, something like that. But my point in showing you all this is not that every wave is going to be exact. My point is that this is the way tops of major moves to the downside start. They start with a 1 and a 2. Okay, They start with a 1 and a 2, or an A and a B wave. But an A is a 5-wave impulse, generally speaking, and the B wave is a 3-wave pullback, A and B. And this happens over and over and over in the market. Okay, This is the way, this is the, way the market moves. Okay, Now, you'll notice... You'll notice that this one actually came down, and this is pretty interesting, just to show you here. Uh, this one came down a 5, and then a 3. This came down 5, and then a 3. This is actually a great example of a 1, 2, 1, 2 on the larger time frame, whereas you're probably getting a 1, 2, 1, 2, okay? Um, on the smaller time frame over, over here on this, on this particular market. Okay, um, but what's interesting is, and what I find interesting is that every time the market goes up, really, I remember living through this. I was very bearish through through all this, and uh, you know, I was like, man, this is coming down impulsively. We're going to get a pullback, and then it's going to go deeper. And I was calling for that in my videos, and you can go back and watch my videos uh, somewhere around the seventeenth, uh, guys, seventeenth of March, two thousand twenty-one, two thousand twenty. You can watch the videos around that time, and and you could, and then and then even on the eighteenth and nineteenth, I was calling for. Uh, big times, uh, big time moves to the downside. You can you can go back and check the videos, but I was calling this as a three-way pullback, looking for continuation to the downside. But you know, as fast as it went up, it had everybody. Oh, we're going up. Okay, because again, again, the market was going up, 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 up. It was it was just flying. Everybody was excited. You know, and this is the beginning of the big bull move. Everybody's excited. This could be it. You know, we had a bit of a pullback. Oh, it's just a it's just a dip. Buy the dip, and then it starts going up really fast. But it goes up in three waves, and then it starts dumping again. And that's the way the market does. And so when you're living 
through it. Everybody's looking at this rebound. And guys, everybody in the... Guys, I was calling for bullish moves down here. I was a bull down here, okay? Uh, <laughs> I was I was calling for big-time bull move coming on my videos. This is their current wave. Uh, when everybody and their brother was bearish as all get out, everybody. I mean, the entire market was just, we're going to hell in, in, in a handbasket. And I was bullish down here, okay? And I called this wave to the upside, okay? Now, I didn't know exactly what shape it was going to make and how it was going to be made, but I was bullish, and I called that move to the upside okay then now at the top i'm bearish i'm i'm at the top of the structure at the at the 618 we got a three wave structure guys i am bearish and this is why because after a three wave move we got a five wave down we got a three wave up guys i'm bearish this thing's going down okay now i don't know how it's going to go down i don't know the exact wave patterns and that's the benefit of the discord i i, I try to do wave analysis uh every day on the small time frames just so we can track the wave and, and what we always keep in mind the larger time frames um but we're we're trying to track the wave as it's made so we can trade in this environment but ultimately guys this wave i believe is going to end up down like this one okay uh whether whether it creates a big one two one two i don't know i don't know how it's going to form this thing could come down in five waves like this and go back up like this on a large time frame okay and that could be, that would be gigantically bad uh for bitcoin i probably don't think that's going to happen but overall we have oops sorry not that if I can get that off. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, overall, I, I think the trajectory is with high probability, guys, down. Okay? A, B, and now we need a C wave. We need five waves. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, four and then five again guys we're, we're looking at 18 19 K guys I mean that's just a high probability area 20 K I, I know you don't believe it I know you don't want to I, and and I'm not saying it's definitely going there but guys you have to at least keep in mind that it is a possibility now when you start add, adding to this covid uh, world events that's going on we got covid 2.0 happening right now we got the uh, the fed getting ready to stop tapering and just completely cut cut off uh, just the uh, cut off what they're doing and they announced it yesterday they're they're all but ready to stop uh, in their help and they're gonna start raising rates and things of this nature guys uh, the market is uh, that's going to strengthen the dollar guys that, and that's and what that's going to do is is, is is crash the markets people are going to be moving back into the dollar because the dollar will be strong temporarily until the dollar crashes again and then crypto is going to then probably become the savior but there's probably going to be a big move coming uh to the downside first now i, I don't know what's going to happen and i'm going to talk about before the end of this video the upside uh that that this thing could be doing but that being said guys i'm just showing you that this is the way markets move guys okay this is the way uh, markets move and they move over and over and over like this so i don't care that we had a big bullish wave here it came to the 618 and we got a reaction off of it guys and it's a big reaction it's not just a little reaction and we're in the middle of it and it's not finished okay uh, and so we're going to look at this small time frame shortly but let me just show you ethereum it's the same thing guys ethereum uh uh, has the same idea. Let me see if I can find it. I guess that's it right there. Um, make sure I'm on the right location here. I forgot to. Yeah, yeah. There we go. This is fine. So let me just zoom in on this just to kind of get the the waves about the same size, just so you can kind of see and compare. Okay. So let's just look at at the way Ethereum came down, and this is again the COVID dump, and this is current. Uh, the current correction that we're getting right now, okay? I can stretch that out just a little bit just to kind of shape that so you can just kind of see. And what you notice here is that this is the uh, the most recent dump off the top, okay, the, the all-time high of Ethereum. And what you'll notice is that we had a five-wave move, you know, and I think it might be helpful to go to the line chart just because you can kind of see the, see the patterns a little bit better there. So let's go to the line chart on both of these. Sorry about that. I thought I already had that squared up. I didn't. Okay, there we go. So I had a big run up. Okay, then we had five waves to the downside. Pretty clear as far as I can tell. Uh, we had 
Let's see if I can give it to you here. One, two, okay, three, four, and five, something like that. And then it was followed by an A, B, C. Now this is uh, that's a flat, okay? It's an A, B, C. We had a, finished five waves right there. And what you'll notice here is that this is the COVID uh, around the COVID dump. This is around the fifteenth here. What you'll notice is that off the top, you had a. Come on. One, two, three, four, with an extended fifth wave right here. Okay, extended fifth wave. That was a five wave move off the top. And then what would you have after that? Well, we had an A, B, and a C wave right there. Boom. And you'll notice the similarities of what's what happened uh, after that because what happened after that is we had a move, initial move down with a pullback. Okay, and what do we have here? We had an initial move back. Okay, and down with a pullback. What happened after that? Well, that pullback, it got pretty extended, okay? That pullback came up in three waves, so we had five down, okay? We had a three-wave pullback. We've had five down, we had a three-wave pullback. And then what happened after that? Well, oops, sorry, come on, let's just keep going in COVID, the COVID dump here. It started going down. How did it go down? Well, it bounced its way down, one, two. See all these little bounces along the way? This thing bounced its way down, okay? But it, and oh, sorry. I can't get rid of it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, guys. It won't let me get rid of this thing. I don't know how to get rid of it. Ay, uh, ay, ay, ay. Okay, guys, I'm going to probably have to pull this, uh, reload this chart. Ugh. I hope I don't have to recreate it. I do. Ah, oh, I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry, guys. Give me one second. Let's go to the daily. Let's go back to the COVID dump here. Rewind, oh, let's rewind the chart. Back here at the COVID dump, there it is. Okay, now let's zoom in on that sucker. Take it down to the one hour. Here it is. There it is, okay, so what you'll notice here on Ethereum is that we had our initial move down, initial move down, okay? We had a, uh, a rebound wave right there, and it came pretty deep. We've had a rebound wave pretty deep, okay? Then what happened? We started... We started going down impulsively. Well, we got a one, two, one, two potentially with more downside to come. Okay, that's the way I'm looking at that wave. Now this one came down straight, but again, remember, in, uh, waves can can go down choppy like this. Okay, so this see this move right there, one, two. People thought maybe it was going up after a three wave correction or something like that. No, it just kept it kept going down choppy. Okay, so right now, guys, we're in the middle of a pullback. Okay, and, and I, we know that. We know that there's a possibility for a pullback here. We got that. Okay, but once that pullback's done, continuation down, most likely. That's the way I'm seeing this wave, guys. Now, what what if what happens after that? Well, I mean, we could get a, a larger pullback. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. I don't know the wave structure exactly, but. My point is here, guys, my point is that the market moves up and down. And just because we're getting a little bit of a pullback doesn't mean I was wrong yesterday. It just means that we're in the middle of a pullback. And I can't predict every wave, uh, you know, every small wave uh, on the smaller time frames. But I did say in my video, as I already showed you, that, you know, hey, we're, we're going up. So, guys, this is this, these are reasons why. This is what I'm where I'm coming from, from a wave structure standpoint. Guys, that, that we have a wave structure here that's pointing pretty bearish. It's pretty bearish. It is not bullish. This is not not a bullish wave structure in my opinion this is very bearish wave structure guys considering world events here the S&P 500 again just talking about the S&P yeah we got a pullback here but it's just a three-wave pullback I'm expecting a dump tomorrow probably 
or, or a move back down tomorrow. And then the S&P, I got an A, a B, and a C. Now, I could be wrong about that, but it looks pretty good. We're at corrective levels. I'm looking for a rebound. We, we close this gap. We got the first move down. We got a three-way pullback. Three-way pullback, and then down we go, okay? S&P is going to go down. On the monthly chart, guys, we've broken the structure on the on the monthly chart, okay? I, I shared this yesterday. Uh, but if you'll notice the, the RSI right there, we've broken down, okay? We've, we've broken price structure on the, uh, on the daily, uh, the price structure on the daily. Let me get rid of those fibs right there. You'll notice that we have a nice, uh, you know, we have from down here, shoot, if I, if I just... If I ignore this bottom and just show you the trend line right there, got a touch, got a touch, got a touch, got a touch. We've broken through that and then we're retesting it. Generally speaking, after you, at, once you break out and retest it, it's going to have continuation to the downside. Guys, this is why I'm bearish. Uh, I got the DXY. The the, the Fed's going to start raising rates. I got the DXY, uh, that uh, which is the dollar index, guys. Um, the, wave, the wave shape in, on the macro is up okay on the eight hour chart okay I'm, I'm looking for a move something like this to get up here i'm looking for the dollar to spike over the next couple of, uh, over the next month or so i don't know when exactly it might not be tomorrow it might might not be next week but uh, there's a there's a macro wave to the upside coming so guys i mean this is why i'm bearish okay this is why i'm bearish now you know if you're not an Elliott wave guy your wave structure guy you don't be in the you don't be, believe in the re repeatability of, of the market then i get it just go on to the next channel that's okay just pass on by but if you're going to you know if you disagree it's really cool just respectfully put your comments in in the uh, um, in the comment section because it, that's that shows the class. And let's just be classy, guys. Let's just be real classy. But guys, I just want to warn you, this is why I'm bearish. I'm looking for downside. Um, if you need it, if you want some help trading in this environment, if you want some help with uh, the small time frame analysis, be glad to help you in the Discord, okay? Uh, with that said, let's finish the video now with small time frame analysis of Bitcoin. All right? Let's do it. All right, let's go to this chart right here. Perfect. There we go. I got I got to I didn't prepare for this, so let's, there we go. All right, so where are we here? Well, remember we just had uh, an impulse wave to the downside. We had a big three wave up. Now what? Now what do we got going on? Well, we had an impulse, a three wave, and now we got another impulse, okay? So it's a, it looks like a, a five, a three, and now a five. Now what's happening here is that it looks to be an impulse wave, but it could be, it could be a, uh, just this just could be a corrective wave now i i don't know i don't know what it is uh, time is going to tell but let's talk about what it could be uh, my take is that this thing's probably going to keep on pumping probably up to this region to the to the 618 or six you know this point six five we're at the 50 right now uh and and we're, we're experiencing some resistance right here so that makes sense so we may not get up there this may be about finished but this could start rolling over draw that trend line here draw this trend line on your chart the one hour is a great time frame to trade by the way but draw this trend line right there on your chart and uh, when you get a break to the downside of that uh, expect expect a break and a retest some some kind of small and that retest could be a higher high like for the fifth wave get you up here but anyway the point is once it breaks and retests guys that's going to be a good short signal a good short signal either for a big wave to the downside or or just a three wave move to the downside like that followed by one more wave and that would be an a b c that's the way i'm thinking about it it might come all the way back up here i don't think that's going to happen but it could it could happen so we're going to be watching that and we're going to be really really interested in uh bullishly in this chart if this wave uh actually um break if this wave comes up and breaks this i'm going to have to change my sentiment that leads me to a point i need to make is all i can give you is analysis of what i think it was going on right now which may or may not play out all i'm doing is giving ideas based on Elliott wave theory of what i think could play out and this is where it's dangerous because at the end of the day on the small time frame i can man there's a million ideas that could play and i'm just giving you some some a couple of ideas here to think about but at the end of the day we have invalidations and we know we know how to trade we we knew this way 
wave was coming and we traded it long we traded this thing long okay um, I've already taken profit on it and I'm, and I'm waiting for the signs of of, 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 a, of a reversal and once I get those signs and, and those key signals that I'm gonna I'm gonna short it again okay and I'm gonna and I'm gonna go short and I've already kind of given you a couple of the signals that I use draw that trend line on your RSI okay that's a key trend line uh, you've got divergence right here on the uh, on the one hour chart here and you've got hidden hidden bearish divergence right there so there's a lot of signals kind of going on there that we pay attention to and once we see them fully played out we, we like to you know, trade with the waves so we do trade with the waves whether what I say in a video happens or not I don't know if it's gonna happen or not and I never do and I say that every video I'm just offering some ideas on the small time frame but at the end of the day my ultimate bias is guys I'm, I'm looking for continuation to the downside whether we come up here a little bit more and come down whether we whether we come up come down in three and then go up again higher before we come down that's possible as well but if this wave gets up and breaks this level then I'm gonna change my sentiment a bit and I'm gonna look a little bit more bullishly and I'm gonna go back and reevaluate uh, this wave that I have already evaluated as a complete three wave move I'm gonna have to reevaluate it in some other way okay and I don't have time in this video to do it it's already too long Guys, I hope that video has been helpful to you. If it has, if you made it to this point, let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all that stuff that uh, uh, YouTube likes if you found value here. I, I really, really appreciate it. My family would also appreciate it. With that said, guys, thanks for joining the Gym of All Trades video today. I hope you, I hope you learned something and enjoyed yourself. And uh, with that said, please be careful with your money. I think scary times are coming. I think the the markets and 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 what I'm seeing in the charts are very scary, and I'm very bearish right now. So be careful. With that said, have a great day. Bye bye.